This is a repair of a 50 inch TV um, LED by Nuisance Electronics. Uh, the very first thing that I did was put the TV face down on a blanket just so that it protects the screen. Just going around the perimeter using a star screwdriver and I'm using an ice cube tray to hold all my screws, putting all the same screws in the same location so that uh, you don't miss place anything or lose anything. Uh, just work your way around. There's little arrows showing you um, where all the screws When all the screws are done, there's actually a little connection to the buttons on the side panel. So on the side, just lift it up gently and disconnect it. Uh, this is all disconnected now and uh, you can see the little wire this is the connection that I disconnected on the side. Everything else just pops right off. So this is the main board. Uh, the yellow board right in the middle there is the power and this board is for the audio and video. And that's your inver inverter board there. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, basically two things, processing video and uh, the middle strips here, they go to your LCD. Um, so that's like the front panel but right here I was thinking that there's an issue because there is no backlight on this uh, TV so I pulled this out and I tested everything uh, at first I thought there was no voltage but it ended up being okay uh, it ended up being the LED so uh, at first I thought there was no voltage but there was so I know that I have to replace the back LEDs uh, this is one of the uh, more difficult um, fixes because you have to be very careful. Put a cloth on a flat surface and then gently take uh, the TV and put it down. And then I'm going to be flipping it on that other blanket there just to give it some padding. And the white blanket that I'm stepping on is where I'm going to be... Um, is working on just these little clips that you need to take it off that's on the front screen I don't show it in the video but I'm I use two suction cups from Canadian Tire to uh, take uh, take off that screen here we are um, behind the screen there's these uh, white pieces of screen and I just put them uh, off I'm using my multimeter in continuity mode and you're just going to be testing the uh, these LEDs to make sure that they turn on. You can see that there's two contacts on the left and right hand side of the LED. So when it's in continuity, uh, test it out and there we go. This is a good LED and you may not know what is positive and negative. Just flip them around so you can see that that way it didn't turn on but my all my LEDs, the right hand side was positive, the left hand side was uh, negative. Uh, you want to go and test all these LEDs and uh, this is one that I found that was bad and it's uh, good to mark them. I put a little X on that with a marker, you can see that should light up but it doesn't. So it's, that one needs to be replaced. Uh, these are the LEDs that I'm going to be replacing. Uh, on that LED strip, you can see they're quite small. I got them from DigiKey. This is a, it's a 3030, uh, three centimeters by three centimeters, and I think it's about one centimeter high. And they're the high-powered um, LEDs. I try to use a lower one, but it, those didn't work. And this is rated for 300 milliamps at three volts. So all these uh, LEDs were three volts. Um, this is doing the repair. Uh, the very first thing is you want to take off that little filter. Uh, it just pops off and then you can use super glue to glue them back on. So you we're going to be removing that surface mount LED. Uh, to do that you need to really have uh, a heat gun. So I'm just heating it up using some tweezers there to get that LED off. I have the temperature at about 320 degrees and this warms warming up and I removed it. 
I put a little bit of solder on there and he I'm heating it up until it becomes more liquid and then I'm just touching with the tweezers to make sure it's liquid. When it is, I will just be putting the new LED on. So there's a the new LED, putting it on place and pressing it down to make sure it has a good contact on the LED strip. So here it is, uh, the new LED is on, so I'm just testing it. Uh, you can't see it right there, but I'll, I'll show you right there. You can see that the light just barely goes on. Again, the continuity tester just shows a little bit of voltage. And there's all uh, replaced LEDs. It won't work if only one LED is off. So, because these are, are on, in series, so if one breaks, it doesn't work. So, now the job is to put on the um, everything back together. So I'm just putting on the, the side piece and I'll be putting the, the screens on. Um, everything should go back on the same order. They have first on the plastic, then it has those screens. And I, I've taped those screens to, together so that I knew what order they were in. And then I'm using the suction cups to move the LCD screen. I, I left it in a safe place in my home when I was working on it. And then you just place it right on it and um, put all the screws back on uh, going around. And then after that, um, you can see that the TV turns on. You can double test that before doing all this work. Make sure those LEDs are working. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video.